In this video, we will be unboxing and installing GE and Brighton under counter LED lights. All right, so this is what I have. I purchased uh, N Brighton GE LED light. Uh, this is um, under cabinet lighting from GE. And this is LED already connected it just to test how it's gonna work. And uh, I have a switch here. The cool thing about this light is that it allows you, if you look at the diagram, so this is lighting facts, and you have, uh, goes from warm white to daylight, and there's just a switch for that. So from 2700K uh, to 6500K, I got it at Home Depot, I just have a receipt here as well. But the cool thing is, uh, typically when you get under counter lights, it's only one setting here you can change it so look what happens I switch it from uh, uh, daylight uh, go to the bright white and then go to the warm white and looks like it's cool I'd like to keep it at the daylight uh, and I'm just gonna mount it and see how well it works for me so what I did I already put in a couple screws here um, so there are two screws that we're gonna use to mount this light I'm going to disconnect it from electricity and mount it. So let's do it as a next step. Oh. So they're mounting holes and I'm just going to insert those uh, into mounting holes. With the screws. And Looks like the position is right. Let me make sure. Okay, looks like it works. Looks good. So now I'm just gonna need to permanently mount it. So I'm happy with the location of the screws. Now I'm gonna need to permanently mount it to remove, uh, hide these wires. Basically what I would need to do, I would need to again and I would need to pass wires through these holes put this cover on top and there are screws that mount this which I left right here uh, and then we'll go from there Stop. okay so and then let's get the ground wire as well now let's open up wires over there okay so what I have to do now I am going to pass this wires through And I had to remove this thing. G basically put it in here and supposedly you should be able to remove the wires by using screwdrivers, but I just wasn't successful doing this. So this, this innovation just doesn't work. So I'm just gonna use old style um, wire connectors. And obviously you need to connect hot wire to hot wire. So black to black. and make sure wires are not visible. And something didn't work very well. Let's see, maybe it was damaged, maybe I damaged it, so I need to strip it again. I'm gonna get another one. So hot wire is done. Let's get neutral wire. Connecting neutral wire here. And then uh, 
the last step is to connect the ground ground wire and it looks like I did not connect it so I'm gonna do it again just make sure I hold it at the end of the tip here Both wires go in. I'm still not happy with the connection, so we'll just do it this way. Okay, so let's test it. Okay, make sure it works. Looks like it works. Uh, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna mount it here on those screws that I put together. Okay, so I'm going to screw this in so it's a permanent connection and I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side of the slide. No, it's fine, don't show it, it's okay. So now it is permanently mounted. I'm going to hide the wires from direct side so you don't see them. Ideally, you would want to have all these wires inside, but because my wires are so close and so short, I, my wire is so short, I'm not able to pass it in because G unfortunately only made holes on the, both sides of this, but not in the middle. If they would have made it in the middle, maybe I would have had luck. So I probably would need to use something to mount the wires. So I'm gonna do it later and now so now the last step, you see this, this plate will be installed like this and the wires enter the uh, under counter, under cabinet lights here on this side. I would need to remove this so I can install it uh, correctly. So now I have this, I'd like to mount the uh, wires so they're not visible. I am going to wrap the wires around this and uh, I'll just connect it. First I need to drill the hole there. I just get the, got the area noticeable. So next step is just to get the hole somewhere in the middle. I think this is a sufficient hole. So, um, what I am going to do, I'm going to find that uh, piece that fell. Right there. Where is it? So that's the screw and the plastic is still there. Okay, plastic is still here. So now I'm just gonna try how it fits. And I need to open it for the cable over there. So this needs to go. I'm just gonna use the cutters to remove it. One, two, and this one we can do. Okay. And then the last step here is to mount this we have two very small screws here and uh, just gonna start it start both of them and I'm gonna 
a screwdriver to put them in. All right, so one is in place. And for second one now, I don't have to hold the plate. I can just use both of my hands here, which makes it much easier. And let's test it. There you go. No, no wires visible and another successful project complete. If this video was helpful, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. For links mentioned, make sure to check the description of this video. Make sure to check out my other relevant videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel. We have a lot of great stuff planned in the pipeline and I don't want you to miss any of it. And if you'd like to get notified about all the new stuff that are coming out, make sure to subscribe to my email list as well. All links are here on the screen. Make sure to click to stay in touch. Thanks again for watching.